Hello, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. And today I have for you a walkthrough of my blue and white journal. I've been working on this for quite a while. It's six inches wide by just about eight inches tall and is primarily done in colors of blue and white. There are there is a dragon and the dragon's treasure off to the side as little dangles. If you are into Dungeons and Dragons, then this is a perfect mage, sorcerer, wizard journal. It's the right colors for those. If you are not into those, then it's just this beautiful blue journal that has a lot of character to it. It has a hidden spine, so there is nothing to see on the outside. So you can write there, or you, and I left the title blank, so you could put your title, your own title to the journal there. And the peacock is a theme throughout. This is, there are three signatures, three separate signatures. We'll take a look at each one of them. This is a fun little tuck. And is actually one of the first things I created for this journal. I really like how that unfolds. There's another little tuck down here. A good writing space here. And on the flip side, you have a tuck space here with a tab to pull it out. More writing spaces. Lots of places to write. A little bag here with some little goodies inside. Places for some hidden journaling, things that you don't necessarily want people to see. Lots of places to write and draw and sketch. And if you enjoy coloring, there's a spot to color. And this particular piece has the um, pearl on it. Some stenciling, more spaces to write. The other half of the bag with more little tucks and journal cards in there. Nice big journal card here that actually fits a little bit tight. And just a collage and more spaces to write in that particular signature. I forgot how many pages these have. One, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, so 24 places to write per signature. And I left these blank mostly because I really liked the, the colors. I just love how those patterns fit together. But you could easily add something in there and, and add to it. Here we have a an envelope with lots of tucks in it, tucks on that side, and then tucks over here on this side. Journaling cards, or excuse me, tags with little frou-frous on the top of it. Another bag with some more tucks in it. Another place to write in here that opens up. And on the flip side, this really cool paper clip. Um, this is a hidden paper clip with two pockets in the paper clip. This page is actually a digital scan that I did of a handkerchief that I have. It is a handkerchief my daughter will be carrying in her wedding as her something borrowed. This is a very old handkerchief. I really like this little journal card that tucks in here. And to be honest, this whole thing came about because of this little card. It says, with special thoughts of you, it's just a cute little card, and I love the colors in it. And I thought, I need to make a journal in those colors. The center of this signature simply has been tied with a bow. There are little tucks here on either side with places to write. And of course, you can write all over the page itself. I gave you some lined places to write here some unlined places here. There's the other side of the hanky. More writing spaces, more tucks, a book page, more tucks. There's, there are tucks everywhere. This is actually a blank page that's held in 
and you can write on both on that side or both sides or draw or sketch and that finishes the second signature see how all those patterns look cool together so in this particular piece we have a pocket with some places to write here this looks like a belly band i love how this kind of came out because this looks like a belly band but in actuality it's a tuck and then there's a place to write on this side and this is a separate whole page i thought that came out really neat some more stenciling this is a true belly band and there are several things tucked away in there you have creativity lives here and it sure does I had a lot of fun with this. This is where our dragon lives, up there. Can, is it still in frame? Yes. And another page to color on if you so desire. The other half of that, another, just a place to write. Some things to, nice little whale, blue whale there. And another one of those hidden um, paper clips with pockets. Sorry, my windows are open, and so every time a car goes by, you're afraid you're going to hear it. Clear seeing. And then here in the back, we have another envelope. This one comes out, and there are things tucked inside here. I really like these envelopes, but they somehow, I, they're old. I picked them up at a flea market, and... They are sealed in the middle. And then we come to the end, and I will tack that down a little bit there. So there's a place on both ends, both the fly leaves, to write or, you know, put your, per, your contact information or how you want to return this book to kind of thing. So there you go. This particular journal will be for sale on my Etsy channel and my Kofi shop. Sorry, I'm in the, in the, where'd my dragon go? He's fallen down. There he is. The dragon and his treasure. But this will be for sale and uh, make sure you check the links below. I will link to it down or link to my shop for both my coffee shop and Etsy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as I said earlier, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe, and you click on the bell for notifications if you want to know when the next video comes out. Until later, this is Cindy signing off.